freshman. Who's the second team? All right, tell us who we are and what we're doing here today. My name is Jack Haley. I'm Green Party candidate for the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. I'm here promoting Rich Whitney as the Green Party candidate for governor. I feel that he has a much better program than the man who just spoke. I think he has a plan that will actually solve the budget crisis in this state and not put the burden on the working people. I feel he's got a we can actually take care of social services that are being cut at the present time if we actually implement what. Uh, Governor Quinn, and Governor uh, like these, we need a Whitney will institute. Side, leading Cook and, uh, government. Okay, yeah. well, real That's quickly, uh, tell us about your candidacy and some of the issues that you're going to you're going to press for. Tony okay, as far as the water reclamation district is concerned, the first issue is a question of disinfection. The first question is that three of the major plants of the MWRD don't treat for, for bacteria before evening, they release everybody. the effluent into the river. Illinois EPA thinks they should be doing this. I'm Everybody thinks they should today. be doing it. Only the MWRD you know, I, uh, is still fighting it. We need to solve that problem. The, the, the second States issue, and almost as important, is a question of stormwater management. There's uh, so I represent him in the city council. Big problem is we've all and I want you realized with uh, flooding that occurs when you get a get a huge rainstorm. There's a lot of We're different things that have to be done, state. but the basic point that and I feel is we need is to up. find an awful lot of ways. And to the keep that storm water from ever going into the sewers. There Let are proven you, technology that can, that can do this. If an aggressive program of for for, good you know, on November 2nd. getting people to it's adopt this technology was in instituted, I think it could go a long way towards reducing some of this pressure. Uh, you know, it's, so I'm not you, saying it's an easy problem, Alexi, but uh, there's a uh, given Pat, new you know technologies that are well known that can take care of that and. We should be implementing them on a wide scale, Illinois not charging people $50 for a rain barrel. We should be going to their houses and putting and the rain barrels in, uh, you know, among other things. I mean, there's a, you know, we need permanent paving, we need the green roofs, so that'll do a certain amount. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that need to be done, but, uh, well, it's not just for us. Now you know, we know that Alexi's a strong it has to be a policy a to governor. aggressively promote it, I think. But we also know, it. Very we quickly, also because know I know that it's a very uh, heavy question, but tell us a little bit more about treatment. Uh, the the treatment of the uh, of of the uh, the water going back into the river right now. I understand it's not being treated. Well, it's not being treated for bacteria. They remove the solids. They partially treat it, but they don't kill the bacteria before it goes. That's an, at three of the. They've got seven sewage Thank treatment you, plants, but the three largest win. ones don't do this. And, uh, you know, they really need to be the done. Buses. It really needs to be done. But after need, we you know, people are out there on that river, in their canoes, in kayaks, us, recreating on the water. We want them to do this. This is a good, you know, the river is an asset to Chicago. People are building expensive homes along the river these days, and it's still actually hazardous to come in contact with that water. So the three largest out of seven aren't doing treatment. Correct. The other four are? That's what I understand, yes. That's what, uh, that's what I've been told. Uh, you know, when I get into the position of commissioner, then I'll be able to find out more details. But uh, that's what I understand uh, from the friends of the Chicago River. I've talked to them. I've talked to some, you know, all the environmental groups are in favor of this. I mean, you know, everybody from Sierra Club to Open Lands to friends of the Chicago River, they all think it should be done. And, uh, you know, it seems like a common sense. Public health to to the polls, measure right? that needs to be How undertaken. Do about, uh, How do we spend 10 hours? So, <laughs> well, thanks for your time today. Yeah, okay, I appreciate the uh, uh, interview. Thank you. <laughs>